Gentlemen, ladies, thank you all so much for joining me. I, I thought this was mandatory. It was mandatory, Bill. No doubt one or two of you are asking yourselves, why am I here? Is it about our paychecks? I'm sorting that out, okay? They're coming. Just give me some time. Does anyone else have any ideas as to why we might be here? Does it have to do with Moonbase Yellow? Why, yes, Bill. It does have to do with Moonbase Yellow, our base for Minmus that we've been working so hard on. Maybe you've heard some of the explosions. Gene, roll the footage. As you can see, I built us a beautiful base to be put on the surface of Minmus. Spent weeks, hours, years it seemed, in the development of it. And then, we loaded it out onto the pad, just to have a look at it, just to test it, make sure everything was working. You know what happened? It exploded. And after several weeks of R&D going over the wreckage and trying to figure out what happened exactly, do you know what answer I got back? They don't know. They don't know. It just blows up. Okay, hey, sometimes these things happen. Sometimes you just can't explain a massive explosion at a space center. So, we picked up all the pieces. Thank God we were able to recover them. We're working on a budget here in case all of you have forgotten. And we put the thing back together and put it back out on the test pad. Took hours, days, weeks, years it seemed. And can anyone guess what happened? It exploded again. And you know, at this point, I'm starting to ask myself, hmm, I wonder if this has to do with security. So I crack down. I tighten it up. I make sure there's no one in there when we're building the thing. And we managed to put one on the pad that doesn't explode. We put it through the riggers, we test everything out on it, it's good to go. Now, we just need to build it into a rocket and send it to space. And I did. And it took weeks and months and years, it seemed. And we loaded it into this craft. Ah! The hell just happened? What just happened? Something just spontaneously exploded as soon as I put it on the launch pad. Oh god. More overheating glitches. Cubic octagonal strut mark 3 exploded due to overheating. Kerbal Space Program developers stop making games, start whacking off in corner. Really, can't wait for that satellite upgrade where with the communications, that's gonna be great. If I could build a ship without it spontaneously combusting though, I would go ahead and put that off for a month. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. It didn't explode! Hooray! Fire! Oh my god, it works! It works, we're going up! We're not pitching off to the wrong angle or anything. Oh, and I've got lots and lots of control. This is beautiful. Thanks to all these uh, radially attached engines. Wow, the frame rate is um, glorious. Don't worry, it'll get better as we go up, maybe. Maybe it's just gonna keep shaking and wobbling more and more and more and more. Why am I looking at orbital speeds? Oh, I need to see the surface speed. What's going on in here? Hello? Hello? Is anybody home in the... Okay, well, maybe you should watch what you're doing, where you're going. This is a very slow ascent on this ship. Um, I think it had like 1.14 thrust to weight ratio on it, but uh, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy that it's actually going up. Look, we're about to make uh, five kilometers. Five kilometers. I think we're gonna pull maybe eight kilometers before we run out of fuel in just this first stage. Oh, please work, ship. Please, please get us out to orbit. Uh, it's just, I've been working on you so hard. We've got so much money invested into this ship too. I mean, it's just, Basically, our entire our entire fund is in not this ship, but this and the next ship. We won't be able to do it if we don't pull it off right. Oh, look at the beautiful clouds. Oh, what a wonderful... Oh, you, you should have banked down a lot more before now. Oh, oh crap. I, I was talking. I should have been paying attention, considering how much I've got into it. Goodbye, stages. Yes! Yes, it's still flying. Okay, now the thrust to weight ratio on this part of the ship is... Um, even better, everybody. That's why I stayed high, because uh, we're going to need that. As you can see, our speed is, is just barely. We're keeping it. Okay, we made height, and I'm looking at the liquid fuel, 
and going, how are we supposed to get into orbit with this? I started out with like 3,900 units to Delta V and I came up pretty okay. I, I could have done it a little bit better, but we're, jeez, only 160 units of liquid fuel remaining? Can I get in orbit with that in a ship this I don't think I can. Oh, I've just been working so hard on this. <sighs> Valentina. God, if this doesn't work, you can't even re-enter. You're just gonna be dead. Oh my god. Okay, it's just, uh, fire, um, RCS, actually. Can I, let's, let's see, is there anything exposed? Yeah, there's, there's some expo exposed. Monoprop, yeah, use monoprop to circularize, no, go, go. Fire all the engines. Fire them hard, fire them full, fire them sure and, and long, and also the, the RCS. Also the RCS, come on. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Pull up, pull up, pawn. Get that apwaps in front of you, because you're running out of fuel. Oh my god, you're down to yeah, zero. Okay, I'm using RCS now. I'm using RCS, um, and the apwaps is just going to be passing right behind me. There's no way that I'm going to circulate a frickin' Kerbin with RCS. Come on, come on, come on. We're back in atmosphere. We're back in atmosphere. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, uh, oh, you know what I should have done? As soon as I got up here, I should have blown off the fairing. It would have reduced our weight by tiny. It wouldn't have helped. It wouldn't have helped anyway. Shoot, shoot. Shoot, pawn, shoot. Uh, what do you do? What do you do now? Save Valentina's life. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to save Valentina's life? You know what? In the event of emergency, we always hit abort. There we go. So that was the abort button. That was the long and the short of the abort procedure. Um, now... You are re-entering the atmosphere at uh, 1,700 meters per second. Uh, so you have no ablator whatsoever. You can slow yourself down, though, with um, RCS. I don't think that's going to do it, Pawn. I, yeah, me neither. I did create an emergency stage for this. The abort button, so there, that's gone. And now it's just, you know, 30-some thousand money that we don't get back and then all there are parachutes though so there is you know you have a hope chance and hell valentina maybe the pod won't just burn up and explode as it returns to the surface of Kerbin. I, I need alcohol for this i can't believe this okay good yeah no we're fine we're doing excellent 38 kilometers we're 38 kilometers at 1700 meters per yeah just uh keep into your retrograde there pawn use that decoupler as your uh as your ablator. That's why I left that decoupler here, was, uh, you know, in, in the event of emergency, use that Rockamax decoupler for a fairing. That's what I, I'm just, I'm burning RCS the whole way down. I know it's, it's doing nothing, basically, but, you know, it's lowering our weight, which I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. We probably have more, ma I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't see any heat tape flare ticks yet, though. So, look, and we're down to 1,200 meters per second. We could survive this. Valentina, you will not die today. Uh, you will not die today. Wow, I wasn't lying. Valentina, you're not going to die today. As long as I don't deploy the parachutes early. Uh, I don't know how we're ever going to get a, a base on, on Mimis uh, with a git like this running the program. I don't know how that happened. I mean, even atmospheric Delta V, I had like, I had enough to get it to orbit. Deploying parachutes. Saving Valentina Kerman's life. Well... I hope you enjoyed the trip, because um, it was the most expensive one. Most expensive one that got you nowhere that you're ever going to take. It's like 42000 or something out of a budget of 72000 So we're really screwed. We are really screwed in this program. Val? Yeah, see see where I tucked the, uh, <laughs> the Kerbal Engineer computer in? Um, maybe you notice it. Maybe you notice it. Hey, you know, at least you got a nice view out of the deal. What's this say? Stop using bits of metal as fuses. You have spares. Okay. I was surprised that they found bits of metal. I figured they were just um, using candy wrappers from all their frickin' snacks. Oh! Oh! What just exploded? What just exploded? What just decided to up and explode on me for no reason whatsoever? That's great. You know, that's fine. I mean, I'm only trying to send things to another frickin', you know, celestial body here and I can't trust the game not to randomly destroy objects just on a whim. God, squad. What what do you do on your on your days off exactly? This, I want to come there and ruin them cuz this is what I do on my days off and um it's less less and less fun thanks to your efforts. How, how how's it look out, out there for you, Val? <laughs> this is kind of cool view. 
I like this. You're upside down. You got buoys surrounding you. Okay, don't worry. We'll send out a ship to come and pick you up. Now, can anyone explain to me how that craft didn't make orbit? Poor piloting? See, that's what I thought, Bill. So I took it back into the VAB, and we redesigned it, and we made it lighter, and we gave it more Delta V, and then we sent it back up, having learned from our first attempt at orbit with that ship. Go! Okay, wow, that is a low thrust, thrust, thrust to rate facio on that one. This might be doable now. My god, it's really, really tight. I must be losing an awful lot to drag because this is modeling occlusion in a way that doesn't entirely make sense or something like that, because that's that's an incredible amount of delta-v, over 4,000 delta-v just to get to orbit. Okay, yeah, I am being silly with the little stuff at the bottom of the- th I just thought, you know, the game used to be kind of silly and now it's gone soul simulator on me. In space, firing now, let's burn hard, let's burn high, let's burn long. We got over 200 units of liquid fuel remaining, so let's keep that APWAPS, uh, you know, good and out in front of us. Yeah, yeah, keep it well out ahead of us, just in case we have to, you know, finish this up with RCS. But please, for the love of God, I came up here with over 4,000 Delta V. This one's gotta work. Okay, 90 units of liquid fuel remaining. Periapsis height of negative four. Oh, Jesus, God, come on. 50 units of liquid fuel remaining. Periapsis height for 300 and some thousand meters. Oh, yeah, push that apwaps way out in front of you, Pawn, because you're not making it. Okay, RCS and H. H all day long. H for the win. 315, 311, 310. Oh, Jesus, hell. Drag. That's the only explanation for this is drag, or Kerbal Engineer is lying to me about the amount of Delta V that I have, which is also a possibility, because I've been having problems. That was fun. That was, um, that was, that was great. I love that. That was an enjoyable learning experience for me. That, um, yeah, drag. Drag, drag is real. Drag is very real. Even on stuff that's behind the ship. And at this point, I start to ask myself, how am I going to pay my Kerbals now that we've spent 80,000 launching ships that don't make it to orbit? And that's why I'm having difficulties, Bill, so just gotta give me some time. But I also start to ask myself, uh, does this issue have to do with security as well? So we crack down. And we make sure that not one of any of you are allowed near the craft until it's ready to launch. You know what happened? We made orbit! Hey! What a coincidence. Just for the sake of testing, we asked the ship to decouple. And it didn't decouple. Detach. And it didn't detach. And this has been the final problem. So this is the this is what I need you guys to help me with more than anything. I have ripped off the landing legs. I have ripped off the ladder. I have ripped off the part that is clearly penetrating, which is this. And it used to release, it was never a problem, and now it just refuses to release. The decoupler failed to decouple. Do you know why we call it a decoupler, Bill? Because its primary function is to decouple. Unexplained explosions on the pad, liquid fuel that just seems to evaporate before we get to orbit, and now decouplers that won't decouple. Hmm. Does anyone have any explanations? Poor engineering? Sabotage! Ever since we launched that satellite that somehow made it to orbit without an antenna on it, I've been thinking in terms of saboteurs. And I feel rather confident when I say that I am standing in a room with one now. But Pawn, what if it's not sabotage? Well, do you have any explanations other than sabotage that would fit this scenario, Bill? What if it's just... Kerbal Space Program full of bugs and glitches? Sabotage! I'm scrapping this mission. We're not going to Minmus. Not until I know which one of you is dirty. And until I do, I expect you all to remain in quarters. Dismissed. Gene, are we about prepped to leave for Ike? Oh, oh, oh. Tony Pond!